In this video, we'll compare three top Linux distributions for gaming in 2025, Ubuntu, Pop! OS, and Arch Linux, each catering to different user needs. Ubuntu offers bulletproof hardware support and seamless Steam Proton integration ideal for the broadest audience. Pop! OS streamlines GPU setup with vendor-specific ISOs and introduces the Cosmic Desktop for optimized workflows and gaming performance. Arch Linux, with its rolling release model, provides the latest kernels and drivers, and even serves as the foundation for Valve's Steam Deck, appealing to power users who crave cutting-edge capabilities. Ubuntu Ease of setup and hardware support Ubuntu's installer and software app simplify GPU configuration by including proprietary NVIDIA and AMD drivers in the main repositories. So gamers can often boot, install NVIDIA Driver 545, and jump straight into high-performance gaming with minimal tweaking. Steam and Proton Integration With a single sudo-apt install Steam command or a quick search in Ubuntu software, Steam and its Proton compatibility layer are installed effortlessly. Proton translates Windows APIs into Linux native calls, delivering performance on par with native ports for thousands of titles. LTS versus interim releases. Ubuntu's LTS, long-term support versions, provide up to five years of security and stability updates, ensuring a dependable gaming platform without frequent OS upgrades. For those seeking newer kernels or libraries, interim releases offer the latest improvements, albeit with shorter support windows. Pop! OS, GPU driver support. Poppy OS ships separate ISO images tailored for NVIDIA and AMD hardware, automatically installing the correct proprietary drivers. This approach removes common setup headaches and guarantees out-of-the-box GPU compatibility for gamers. Cosmic Desktop Environment System 76's evolving Cosmic Desktop focuses on speed, workspace organization, and keyboard-driven navigation. These refinements benefit not only developers and creators, but also gamers by reducing system overhead and streamlining in-game multitasking. Gaming tools out of the box. Through the PopShop application store, users can install Steam, Lutris, GameHub, and other gaming platforms with a single click. This curated repository simplifies access to essential tools like Proton clients, wine wrappers, and performance overlays. Arch Linux. Rolling Release Model Arch Linux's rolling release philosophy guarantees immediate access to the latest kernel, Mesa, and NVIDIA driver updates, critical for leveraging new hardware features and performance optimizations as soon as they're available. Customization and Lightweight Base Starting from a minimal CLI installation, gamers can build a custom environment, choosing between full desktop environments, e.g. Genome, KDE, or lightweight window managers, e.g. Hyperland. This modularity lets advanced users fine-tune every layer for minimal resource usage and maximal frame rates. Steam Deck Foundation Valve's Steam OS, the software powering the Steam Deck handheld, is built on an Arch-based foundation. Arch's package flexibility and current-generation kernels make it the ideal base for a portable gaming platform, highlighting Arch's proven performance in a commercial product. Conclusion, Ubuntu is the go-to choice for gamers who value stability, ease of use, and broad community support. Pop! OS strikes a balance between user-friendliness and performance, with GPU-specific ISOs and the new Cosmic Desktop. Arch Linux caters to enthusiasts seeking full control over every component, a bleeding-edge stack, and powers Valve's Steam Deck. No matter which distribution you choose, Steam Play via Proton and native Linux ports under Vulkan OpenGL ensure that your favorite games run smoothly on Linux in 2025. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video! Peace out, everybody! And don't forget, I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.